Hey everybody, it's Christopher Small from Building a Law Firm and I wanted to hop on here with you real quick and talk to you about a practical Facebook marketing tip. And uh, this is something that I actually talked about with two syndicate members today. I saw this problem with each of, of their sort of methods for uh, utilizing Facebook for their law firms and I wanted to come on here and share it with you. Even though you're not syndicate members, I'm still gonna be nice and uh, give you the goods. All right, so um, if you know or don't know, if you live under a rock, then, you're, then you don't know that you know, one of the ways, one of the easiest ways to get new clients, to build brand, to build expertise, to build trust, is to create content and do it consistently and get it out there to the world. So backroom members, syndicate members, everybody that sort of listens to me knows that this is really where I'm coming from and this is one of the big things that I preach. But there are some nuances to it that if you're, if you're not careful, you can sort of miss out on a really big, important piece of the pie. And this is what was happening with, uh, with a couple of the people that I was talking to today. So when you, there are a couple of different ways that you can create these videos. One of them is like I'm doing right now, Facebook Live. But if you're not ready to go live yet, if you're not ready for the big stage, um, with this one person watching me right now, uh, then you can always pre-record your videos and then upload them to Facebook or upload them to YouTube and send them around to the world. What the syndicate members that I was talking to, to today were doing was once the video was recorded and they sort of cut, chopped off the front and the back, which is what you should do, and then they uploaded it to YouTube, which is what they should do, they were going to Facebook and they were um, just putting in the link to the YouTube video in their Facebook feed. And it can be a little, uh, it can be a little deceptive because when you do that, the image from YouTube pops up. So the video little thing pops up. So um, if you're just looking at it, it looks kind of like there is um, a video on your Facebook page that's showing you everything that you want. But if you do it that way, you're gonna miss out on a critical component of any good Facebook marketing strategy. What's that critical component? Data collection, okay? For anybody to watch the video that has that YouTube link on it on Facebook, they have to click that link and it will send them over to YouTube to watch the video, all right? You may be thinking to yourself, that's great. YouTube will sort of notch it as a, as a, as a view. I'll feel good about myself. Somebody will have watched the video and everything is gonna be all good, but you're wrong, okay? What YouTube, YouTube actually probably can do this, but not as good, not as, not as fun. What YouTube does or what Facebook does that YouTube can't do or doesn't do as well, I don't think, is when people watch videos inside of Facebook's platform, the amount of data that is collected on that person is just ridic. It's crazy town. And so when you import your video into Facebook, when you upload it directly into Facebook, so you're watching it just like I am, then Facebook is able to tell if they clicked on any links, they're able to tell if they shared it, if they liked it, they're able to tell how much of the video they watched and they track it in three second views, 10 second views, 25%, 50%, 75%, 95% and 100%. So all of those little points along the way of viewing your video is collected and counted by Facebook. And this is the crazy part. If you know what you're doing, then, and it's not actually that difficult, then you can create an audience inside of Facebook of people that have watched three seconds of your video, of 10 seconds of your video, 25% of your video. You can have people dropped into these different buckets that you create. And then the beauty of it is you can, guess what? Send them more content. You can send them more information. You can even, God forbid, put an offer in front of them, okay? You can show them um, um, an offer to call you, to schedule a consultation. You can say, hey, I know you've been watching my stuff. I know you like me or you wouldn't be watching. And if you need my help, you know, just give me a call or go to my, my scheduling page and schedule a consultation. So when, I mean, the moral of the story basically is if you are creating content, that's, that's fantastic. Keep doing it. But make sure that you are uploading your content to each of the native platforms so that you can take advantage of the data collection within those platforms and then present those people who have shown an interest in what you're doing, um, either more information, more videos, more content to create more goodwill, to build more trust, to, to um, demonstrate more expertise, or to, God forbid, 
put an offer in front of them, and um, you know, maybe get a client from it, which is I think what we're all kind of trying to do. All right, so here's the deal. If you like this video, hit the like button, okay? If you know someone that might like it, share it. Here's the last piece of the pie. I am hosting an event April 5th, 2019 in Kansas City, okay? There are only 25 spots left, all right? And I want you to come. I don't even have a sales page or any way to sign up yet built up, but if you think you might be interested, if you can just like say, I'm interested below, or like raise your hand or say yes or say I'm in or give me just some kind of a sign that says you might be wanting to come then that would be great and I will find you I will track you down and I will let you know when that information is available there's going to be definitely sort of an early bird sign up period that's going to get you some uh, a cheaper price and uh, some some cool bonuses and I just want to let people know about that and I plan on getting that up here soon and if you're interested then let me know okay if you're not then that's fine don't do anything and all these other people that come will pass you by, all right? Okay, that is it. I'm Christopher Small with Building a Law Firm. Thank you so much for your time. Remember, upload those videos to all of your platforms and keep creating content consistently. That is the key to success, all right? That's it. See you later.